been pretty nice, but I tell you, the heat's going to be moving in on us pretty quick. I tell you what, it's a beautiful day today. Yes, and it that, is. And that ain't too bad. I tell you what, thank you for letting me use some of that uh, mosquito repellent, man. It's God. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. have it on. I don't have any on. Do they, they're not bothering? You've been taking a lot of vitamin B? Yep. So-so uh, works. Well, I've been <laughs> threatening to try it. I just haven't done it yet. But, uh, man, I'm... I, if, hey guys, if you don't know, this is my friend, Bowen, or as he's popularly known on YouTube, Ranger Cookie. Well, how'd he do? I'm doing good. Um, I'm out here enjoying this POW camp, and I want to uh, maybe start a fire soon. Okay. Oh, you give you won't mind giving me a hand on that? I'll be glad to. And we, you want to? Try the the Ferrocerium rod. Yes, correct? I got a nice big monster here. My gosh, guys, look at the size of that. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> That's a monster. That's a monster, and you and you got tape going around it too, huh? Yep, I learned. Well, uh, my friend learned a lot of stuff. Absolutely, man, that thing is a monster. A, it's a beaut. Okay, well, I tell you what, I'm going to zoom our camera in here and let's take a look All at right, it. All right, let's do it. Alright, I'm gonna get my little table out here. There you go. And we got some fat wood. A little fat lighter. And a little bird's nest. Yeah. Alright. I had problems trying to strike and start a fire with the fair sea and rod. And I always said That can be a little tricky sometimes. They sure uh, can. My friend finally got one a long time ago and I had a little small one, so I guess, yeah, I guess we start with a little bird's nest. We can do that, and we sure can. Main thing, guys, this is to you newbies. These, these pros I'm out very there, new. <laughs> now, he's, he's camped all his life, but this ferrocerium rod something Yeah, this is different. new. This is very new to me. I want, always want to try a bow. Right. Landman, our uh, friend right up the road, he was using yeah. a bow. I think he was using the wrong type of wood. Yeah, Mark. I think he was using the wrong type of wood, my friend. <laughs> you were using a broom handle. <laughs> All right, I want to try to start. I did okay. this one time in my life. I started mm -hmm. with the ferro seed rod. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I used some type of birch or some type of bark. Yeah. All right, let's try it out. Man, you should have, I made a video. I didn't even put it on YouTube. I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get this started. First, let's make the bird nest. Make the bird's nest, and I'll tell you something else that's very critical. One of the reasons why a lot of people fail with the ferrocerium rod is a misdirection of the spark. Uh, the spark will be flying, if you go across the top of your knife, supposed to be like so. That's right. I think. Let's help these, these new guys out here. What you want to do is keep your knife stable and braced and pull back with the ferrocerium rod. You almost got it. I think I need a better bird nest. Well, there's not much to it there. And another thing that's important is uh, with pine straw is you got to really get this stuff down ultra fine. It's got to be fine. Well, you want to release the combustible oils that's inside of this huh. and the only and you also need fire as everybody knows is a mixture of fuel and oxygen so you have to have a pretty good balance of both there you go it's almost there that's that's real close Okay. Am I doing it wrong again? No, it's not, I don't think you're doing it wrong. I think what you said about our fuel is probably has a lot to do with it. We're using pine straw, guys. Don't know what the moisture content is because we're picking this up off the ground. And as you guys know, a lot of times you get a lot better quality if you, if you grab the dead needles off the low-lying branches. Let's see if I can find something hanging on. Trees or yeah, we don't have enough fuel here. And, uh, 
some twigs that were hanging around with some there little leaves. Go. There you go. Let's see if I can get that going. Yeah, this is like my second time trying to start fire with a ferro seed rod. All my life I use lighters. And remember, you gotta really get this stuff twisted. Now, I don't think you need to put any wood in it. Definitely needs to be just a, what's that? It definitely <laughs> just needs to be uh, the, the needles with the oil that's, that's inside of every one of them. That's what gives it its weird taste, is those oils in there, pine saw. We're trying to light up the pine saw inside of this thing. Now, your position, there you go. Should I bring the knife down or should no. I? No, pull, yes. pull back on the ferro rod. That way the direction of your sparks is right there, okay? And another thing is relax. There you go, see? Much better. There you go. It's not as easy as it looks, guys. No, it's not. On YouTube, it looks all easy going and easy to do, but it's not really the case. All right, maybe if I use another knife. Let's try this. Try this one. Because sometimes and the you, knife. And use the soil. Okay. Okay. Sometimes just the, the knife can do. Uh... Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Now I'm cooking. Now with... we got some sparks going. Just repeat that process. You're doing, doing good. So maybe it wasn't my my knife or me doing is the my knife I need. That's right. It wasn't necessarily you. It was your knife. Yeah. Man, that thing froze some sparks. Good lord. There we go. Almost had it. Keep going. You're doing good. Almost had right. it there. Okay. Hey, take, hey, I'll That's, be back. I'm going to grab my big ass knife. I can even feel the heat in this. So you were right there to the point of, of getting it going. Okay. This thing's hot. I mean, the, the, the pine straw is actually hot from those sparks. And here again, we're going to get All right, gonna I'm going to use... Go ahead. I'm sorry. It's okay. Balance of fuel and oxygen. Make sure you have lots of surface area so that the sparks can get in there and lots of air around it. Now, That's, I noticed the Pathfinder knife works really good with the fire, fire oh sea yeah. drive. Oh, yeah. I think he made it on purpose. Now, I'm going to use my knife instead of Donnie's because mm -hmm. that's his knife and I can't bring his knife with me so I have to use my knife. All right, let's see. Have you felt the spine? Do you have a 90 degree spine on the back of your knife is critically important. If you don't on this knife, that's one thing Bolin, uh, don't have you don't knife. have a 90 degree spine on here. We can fix that. Wait a minute, this one feels, this side here feels pretty good. So this way should work. All right, let's try it out. Sometimes you gotta get yeah. that paint off. You gotta you need to put your your ferro rod needs to be right there. There you go. Okay. All right. So here again, we learned something. This is a beautiful. We're seeing what works and what doesn't. A lot of times, it's not the operator. It is the equipment. So, anyways, we're gonna try it with this. There we go. Beautiful. So with a little knife for the. That's right. Yeah, I can feel the heat off this thing. Yeah. There we go. You're going to catch your knife on fire. Huh? <laughs> I'm going to also see if I can get some more fuel, some better dry fuel. Maybe we don't have enough fuel. Alright, let's see if we get uh, something better. Be right back. Watch that for you. How about? We're not going to give up. We're going to like this shit. So, I promise you, we're going to like it. This You're is the knife like I was using when I was making that video. Okay, I think we got some fuel that's a little bit more All right. robust. Now, and it's bigger too, so we might get a, a better that's flame. That's right. Position that rod right there. There we go. There we go, guys. Woo! There you go. Here we go. Ranger Cookie right here. 
rock and roll. So it was, wasn't me, it was my equipment. I was there like this. You, I, I will post that video yeah, just to show you. Absolutely, hey. absolutely. What's important, guys, is that you have enough of the fuel, the right kind of fuel. It's got to be dry, and you have to have enough, and you must have a good 90-degree spine and a proper technique. Then you'll have little trouble starting a fire out here with this. Excellent job, Bowen. Excellent. You are the man. The fire man. That's the second time I let uh, fire with a fire seed rod. All right. Fire seed rod. Listen to cool, me. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Now, he's got some some fat pine out here. We're going to take a look at this. Lighting fat pine is a little trickier. You have to remember the same principles apply. Fuel and air. Okay? So what we're going to do with this this fat wood that we have here is we're going to make a little bit of Maya dough, a little bit of shape, okay? I'm taking my knife and I'm just simply grating this fat pine to make a little shaving. And we're going to make us a little pile. It doesn't have to be a big pile. Now that is one difference, one major difference. With, with fat wood, you don't have to have as much as you do with like the pine straw. My new fire rod kit. Small knife with the fur seed rod. There you go. There you go. That's how a kit's born, guys. Through trial and error. Getting rid of what doesn't work and keeping what does. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this little pile of pine shavings right here. A small pot. Maybe I need some more. This is a good chance too, right here, uh, Bowen, is to practice even your, your striking, your fair rod striking technique with just grating your fat wood. Notice that I'm keeping the knife still and pulling back on the wood to make the shavings. Can we try it real quick? Yes, sir. I'm gonna see. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. With this little bitty knife. There you go. Remember, Better. pull the wood back, leave the knife where it is. There you go. See, I taught Donnie all kinds of stuff. Now he's teaching me something. There we go. That's what this community is about. It's about sharing knowledge and having a good time with good friends. I think we have enough there, buddy. All right, now, here again, get ready with that badass ferro rod you have. And we're, we're going to be ready. We're going to be on standby with our tender. And once you get this going, we're going to add to it. Now, your, the base of your rod needs to be right in front of your, your material. There we go. There we go. Sorry. All right. Kind of hard. Let's talk about another little technique. Okay, when you have a small amount, this is when you're going to switch directions, guys. Uh, instead of doing the 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 technique with uh, pulling this stuff back, pulling this back, okay, where you're pulling your ferro rod. That's really what we should do. We need to keep this knife right here, but you can also, yeah, direct your spark this way. Okay, ah. so that so, way yeah. you point it, your spark right at your um, your material. There we go, and it's just that simple. It's just that easy. Now, add your wait till we get a little bit of flame. Add a little bit there. Catch that on fire. There we go. Now we can add to it. Ready to go out. It's okay. No, no. no it, it's going to be fine. I know. I'll tell you something else you can do with these, and you get it going. You can add little things like that. A little pine straw. Here we go. And we can add more of our fat wood. That smells good, too. Yeah, it does. Absolutely. And then we build, remember, guys, we mm. start with 
pencil, then a finger, then bigger. Okay? And that's the way we do it. Well, I have learned you two are, techniques. You are the fire master. One and the other one was uh That's right. That's right. I think that better. Oh no, we uh, trial or error. That's, that's all it right. is. That's that's right. That's all it is. Trial right. and error. You have if, to figure it out. That's right. If one thing doesn't work, don't give up and move on to another technique. Well, all right, my man. All right, we got this covered. Oh, I'm old. <laughs> you old shit. <laughs> all right. Oh. Well, man, man, you should have been off today. We could have had a lot of fun. That's at right. You missed Turkey it, Fork. So, anyway. I'm going to back this thing up and look at that fine fire my fine friend, Mr. Ranger Kooky made. I'm going to enjoy that for a minute. Mama won't be me no more. <laughs> so, I'm going to cop another squat right quick. <laughs> and, uh, well, maybe I'll get down here. So, we hope you guys have enjoyed this as much as we have doing it and uh did a great job but thank awesome you appreciate job. the help awesome no that, man hey uh so guys look for us on youtube uh at ranger kooky and, and donnie hey, paddolini outdoors and we'll see you next time well we're gonna say goodbye to you <laughs> my ending goes ah, ah, i'm gonna watch you and spin around and say goodbye